All right, what's going on, everybody? So let's jump right into writing our prompt to play a game of Pong against the computer. All right, so write code like an expert programmer for a game of Pong. We can play against an AI opponent. where the score is kept at the top of the screen in a sleek font. And the user can move their paddle up and down with the arrow keys on their keyboard. All right, let's read this back. Write code like an expert programmer for a game of Pong we can play against an AI opponent where the score is kept at the top of the screen in a sleek font and the user can move their paddle up and down with the arrow keys on their keyboard. Let's run it. Okay, so it looks like it's going to make it in Python. All right, and it looks like it took a little coffee break, so let's tell it to keep writing the code, please. All right, now that the game code is finished being written by ChatGPT, let's see what it says. This completes the Pong game code. The game features a player-controlled paddle, an AI-controlled paddle, and ball movement with basic collision detection. The score is displayed at the top of the screen in the chosen font, and the user can control their paddle using the arrow keys on their keyboard. So it looks like it did everything that we wanted. So it wants us to first download the latest version of Python. So whether you're on Mac or Windows, you can go do this right now. Just go to this link and go to downloads and install it right on your computer. And once you do that, then we can start doing what it wants us to do uh, with the terminal commands and get this going. But first, uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'll show you how to do this in Visual Studio Code. So this is going to be a little bit different than a normal HTML type of uh, tutorial. So it'll be good. So we'll go up here to Terminal. And we go New Terminal. And we'll paste that right in here. Pip install Pygame. And this is installing basically an extension uh, to Python called Pygame that helps us uh, you know, write code and add functionality for uh, games that we want to play or write code for and then run. So let's give that a second here. And let's go back. So in the meantime, it wants us to make a pong.py file. So let's do that. And it looks like Pygame is installing here. Installing collected packages and it is successfully installed. Okay, great. So we can go ahead over here and close terminal, make a new file, paste it, and just like that we have a Python file. And you can see the little Python logo.py. That's simple. So we'll copy the first half of the code, and that looks like we can just copy the second half and paste it right underneath. So paste, and then copy the second half, and let's paste. Okay. And it looks like no errors or anything like that yet. Oh, nope. It looks like a couple. So let's see. Open terminal back up and look at our problems. Let's go ahead back to ChatGPT and tell it we got this error. So we're going to say we got three oh, errors. I'll say that. And I'll copy the second one. And 
and copy the third. Let's see if ChatGPT can help us debug. Can you rewrite the code to fix these? All right, so it looks like it is fully correcting the code. So it says, I apologize for the mistake. It seems there was a problem with the formatting in my previous response. I've corrected the code below. And let's sit back and give it a second to render the code. And it looks like it stepped out for another coffee. So let's say continue. All right, so it looks like it finished rewriting all of the code for us. Let's see if this works. And it's the same type of response telling us everything that we want to hear in terms of what the game will do. So we're going here. Here are the three problems we've been dealing with. So we're just going to delete. That'll be the first part. And it looks like it's going to pick up right where it left off. So it should start at the word ball. Ball goes out of bounds. So we'll just overwrite that. We'll step away and save and we'll see if it gives us the errors again. Okay. Now it said to run this game, you want to open a terminal or command prompt. So it'll be terminal on PC and the command prompt on your Mac. You want to navigate to the folder containing pongpy and run python.pongpy. So that is what we need. And let's go back and see if it works. So again, no errors. And normally we would go with the uh, live server here. So let's run live server. And you'll see it does not work out the same way. Right? So let's go do it the way it asked us to do it. Start a new terminal. And here we are. We have a full-fledged game of Pong, complete with a center line. I scored a point, and usually you don't score on these uh, AI Pong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and let it score. Make sure it works. Okay. So look at that. With Python, fixed its own errors, and in about 10 minutes or so, we have a fully-fledged AI game of Pong that honestly feels and looks perfect in terms of what we were asking for. We get the center line. That is where the ball spawns out from. We have the physics you would expect from a Pong game. And as you can probably hear, I am moving the paddle up and down. And we have the score working. And I need to see if I can score again on this guy. Not looking like that's going to happen. All right. So let's close this out and just run back through what we did to get this to work. Okay. So it had us download Python and install it on our computer. And we had to make sure that was uh, also accompanied by Pygame, which is going to use the Pygame library to, again, add the functionality you want for video game-like things in a, uh, in a piece of Python code. So we reference this Pygame library, and we basically come down here, and it said that it rewrote the code because it had a problem with its previous formatting. So it went in and it fixed the three errors that we did give it. And then we simply just copy and pasted the code and did what it asked. Now, again, if you're new to running things in, you know, the terminal, again, all we did was we copied this right here, python space pong dot py. We could also type that in. So that's what I'll do here. So as you see, I'm in my external hard drive created with 
GPT slash AI Pong. So I'm right in the folder that we want to be in. And as it says, navigate to the folder containing the file. So that's where we are. And we're going to run this Python space Pong.py. So I'm going to type it in. So Python space Pong.py and the game should start. And just like that, the game begins. And as you can see, it has everything that we want, all the characteristics we were hoping for. So I hope you followed along with me here and you were able to render this out. There will be a link to a uh, GitHub repository for everything you'll see here. And in all the other videos, there will be links to the GitHub. So you can grab the code yourself, mess around with it, change the uh, maybe the speed of the ball, how big the paddles are, you know, anything that you'd like to do. But right now, could it be happier with how this turned out? So I hope this was helpful to you and we will see you in the next video.